Hey y'all, this is Jeremiah, pastor at Centennial ARP. Thanks for tuning in for today's video devotional out of Romans chapter 8, verse 33. Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. This Bible verse, I think, might be explained in a, a, an illustration, a courtroom illustration. Um, have you ever done something in life? I know you have, but maybe you'll think of an event even like maybe I'm thinking of one right now where, where you know you're guilty. Uh, you know, your hand was kind of firmly stuck down in the cookie jar when the lights came on. And it, it could be something small, like a literal cookie, or it could be something much more heinous, something uh, so deeply shaming uh, that you try not to think about that part of your history, that part of your life. Well, now put yourself in a courtroom with a judge standing before you. There is no jury. This decision will be made by the judge. And there is a prosecutor. There is actually someone defending you as well. And um, the judge asks you, how do you plead? Uh, maybe that that heinous event in your past life, or maybe you just think about your whole life, or maybe you think about some of the wrongs, or a minor wrong, whatever it is, it's something that you were caught, that you know you're guilty. And this judge knows it too. He says, how do you plead? And you rise and you say, like you should, guilty. I, I'm guilty, Your Honor. There's no need, no need for this process at all. I'm guilty. And the judge says, okay. And yet before he can pass his sentence, your defender stands up and says, uh, Your Honor, this person is right. He or she did that thing. And I have a proposition. I would like to take the punishment, whatever it is, uh, be it death or a life of imprisonment, whatever it is, I, I will take the punishment. You say, that, that's crazy. That, that can't work. And the judge says, it shall be. And the sentence is passed on your lawyer, uh, on your advocate. You think, this, this isn't right. This, this can't be. And, and then after that, the judge says, you may go. And the doors open and everyone stares at you as you walk out. Uh, this is a small image of the freedom that we have because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus uh, is perfect. Uh, he has done no wrong. Uh, in fact, he knows the wrong that you did, even the really heinous stuff that you think only you know about. And he still went to the cross on that hill and died for you if you believe in him. Uh, believe in the Lord Jesus and recognize that there can be no charge laid against you, that you have been absolutely justified, which means that a sentence has been passed and you have been found not guilty. Uh, you, you think that that's not true. I'm guilty. But, but it's, it's, not that, uh, it's not that you're not guilty guilty. It's that your guilt has been taken by somebody else. Jesus has taken your punishment. And because of that, the price for your life has been paid. That's the gospel. And we see it in stark reality here in Romans chapter 8, verse 33. Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies, who finds you not guilty, who pays the price, who allows you to live your life in freedom and in thanksgiving for a God so good as to do this for you.